Assalamu alaikum everybody. My name is Ali Kemal Jivelek. I am Imam in Houston, Houston Blue Mosque. I'm coming from engineering background, but I'm working as an Imam. Today, um, in this series, I will talk about belief and what is the belief system of Islam. The first topic is, let's relate belief with the purpose of life. As we all know that we all came to this world to find the truth and we are created with this. I am going to different uh, prison as a volunteer. So the people over there has many tattoos and I am asking them about these tattoos. They are saying, they are talking about the tattoos, they are, they are giving them the identity, they are talking about their think, their thought. So my advice to them to make really a great tattoo on their body, uh, my advice is make a big, huge, a question mark tattoo on their chest. Because human being is created with this uh, question, who are you? Yes, we will talk about purpose of life. As a human being, we are coming to a, this great giant universe with this question mark, who you are, who are you, we oblige to find the ultimate truth for all ourselves. This is the first point. Yes, we came to this universe like a huge giant garden and we are looking for who is the owner. Let's figure out who is the owner? This is the first step for us. Who is the owner of this universe? And it's called the belief. Believe in Iman Billah in Arabic. I don't want to bother you in this series with many Arabic words, but I am going to use as, as, as little as possible, as few as possible, some Arabic words related to our topic. It is the first one. It is the first one that I'm going to use, Iman Billah, believe in God. Yes, we came to this world and we understand that definitely from the order around us, yes, we are thinking still, we are still in that garden, you are looking around and you saw that this garden is really has a great order. So you understand that definitely this order needs an owner who is taking care of this garden. Same thing. This universe with this order definitely needs an owner who is taking care of this huge universe. So it's called, yes, you understand now with your innate feelings, you understand that Yes, definitely there is an owner for this garden. The second step for yourself. What kind of owner is this? Can I see him? Can I know him? And you continue your search. You see that everything is beautifully adorned in this universe. Everything is so beautiful. So you understand that this owner has a feeling, has an intention to beautify everything. And you said, then all this beauty is coming from his beauty. You understand, oh Lord, oh creator, oh owner, you are beautiful. And you see a, a, another thing that you realize, everything is going on mercy and compassion. You realize that, all beings here, all living creatures here is grown up on the laps of their mothers and mothers are taking care of them with mercy and compassion. And you see that, oh, this compassion and mercy should come from the owner, from the Lord. Yes, you said, okay, then this Lord is merciful, compassionate, beautiful, and, and he is doing everything with knowing. And you understand this knowledge is everywhere in the universe, from the tiny particles to the huge stars. 
knowledge is everywhere. So you, so you understand that he is such a Lord that he is all-knowing. We said the first step is we believing in him. We put our trust in him. This is the belief, the first step. The second step is knowledge of him. The first step called in Arabic, iman billah, believe in God, believe in Allah. And the second step called marifatullah, knowledge of God. Yes, we are coming to a conclusion. I was driving from Boston to Houston. I lived five years in Boston. And I am really a very bad driver, I can say that. I, can ad I should admit this. I was driving from Boston to New York one night, three in the morning, and I saw the lights, but not the lights of a spiritual light, but I saw the lights of a police car just behind me. Anyway, we stopped, he came, and he said, hello, sir. Did you realize that you were driving 35 miles per hour? I said, oh my goodness, because I was almost sleeping and I was really driving 35 miles per hour on a highway. So he said, two gentlemen called us and they said, a person, he's on the highway in Connecticut, he's on the highway and he's driving 35 miles per hour and he's rolling over on the highway. And actually, it was such a sad point for me. And the, the question, the crucial question he asked me that night, I always remember that incident. He said, sir, are you high? I said, I really wanted to say to this police officer, yes, police officer, I am always high. But sure, I didn't say this because I don't want to spend that night in jail. So I said, yes, I am a little bit sleepy. Because of this reason, maybe. Anyway, is there any way to reach that highness without using any intoxicant? Yes, there is a way. Actually, we are talking on this way today. We said the first step, it is Iman Billah, believe in God. And the second step, it's a very natural second step, is the curiosity about this owner leading us to know him. And we will talk about this knowledge of God in later episodes. Knowledge of God. But the knowledge of God leads us to another step called love of God. Yes, think again. Right? Quran advises us always think. This is the first job that we are learning from Quran, it is assigned to us not to believe. Quran always says, think. So we are thinking. Yes, we are thinking. To reach an ultimate love, what really require? Yes, if you want to love somebody or something, first you need to know him. Without knowing, you cannot reach that love. Yes, we started to search in our Lord. The second step, we started to learn about His attributes. But this, this learning leads us to another step. We started to love Him. Because of His beauty, because of His perfection, and because of His giving to us. Yes, I realized that in that garden, everything is so beautiful. The second point, yes, in that garden, is everything so perfectly designed and working. Everything is perfect. This is the second point. And the third point, I see that all these designed for me as human being around me. I am as if the fruit of this universe. O oh God, O oh Lord. I understood now your purpose. You are trying to reach me and teach me something about yourself with all your beauty and with all your perfection and with all your giving. Now, third step, O oh God, 
Yes, now I started to love you with all my heart. As much as I understand you, it increased my love. Yes, this love will bring us to another step called ecstasy. It's called, the gentleman, remember, he asked me, are you high? Yes, when you reach that love of God, when you reach that love, you will reach the happiness and tranquility and wisdom that you are looking for in this, in this universe. We said, we created with this uh, question mark, right? Yes, this question mark, it's like hunger require us to look for food. This question mark of happiness require us to search him, to search the truth, and the end result, end product, knowledge and love. Thank you very much. Thank you.